India has adopted a policy of zero tolerance against drugs. In the last five years, drugs seized 293,007 kgs. In the last five years, drug disposed 2,24,309 kgs. Drugs seized in tablets in the last five years, 1 crop 78 lakh 7,565. Drug disposed in tablets, 1 crop 45 lakh 68,145. Total persons arrested, Indians and foreigners, 4,256. So who is working relentlessly to build a drug-free India by 2047? Who is demolishing the entire drug network and moving forward with bottom-to-top and top-to-bottom approach? Who is busting the biggest dark net drug cartels? Well, get ready to experience the hair-raising journey of the Narcotics Control Bureau of India. And welcome viewers, you're watching the special presentation of Sunset TV, National Security. And today, our focus is on the NCB. The role of Narcotics Control Bureau as the nodal agency on the matter of drug law enforcement in India has gained prominence in recent times. In this edition, I will take you inside the world of NCB and how they're ensuring a drug-free society. So come along. Drug trafficking is a global illicit trade involving the cultivation, manufacture, distribution and sale of substances which are subject to drug prohibition laws. It is a social problem that harms youth and families and the money it generates is diverted for disruptive activities that have bearings on national security. It undermines the rule of law, fuels organized crime and funds terrorism. The nexus between drug traffickers, criminal networks and terrorists is another potent threat. Exploitation of the trafficking routes by the terrorists with the help of well-entrenched criminal networks to infiltrate with arms and explosives adds a critical dimension to the security of our country. Guru Mantralai has developed a zero tolerance for the drug trafficking. कि नशे की समस्या राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा के लिए भी एक बहुत बड़ी चुनौती है जिसको सभी के समन्वय से ही रोका व समाप्त किया जा सकता है मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में हमने लड़ाई को समन्वयित और संस्थागत बनाया है इसके लिए गृह मंत्रालय के नारकोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो के तत्वाधान में नारको समन्वय तंत्र की स्थापना की है जिसका उद्देश्य सभी एजेंसियों के बीच में समन्वय एवं तालमेल स्थापित करना है जिससे ड्रग की तस्करी पर अंकुश लगाने में हमें पूर्ण रूप से कामयाबी मिल सकती है नाकोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो इज अ ड्रग लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एंड इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फाइटिंग ड्रग ट्रैफिकिंग एंड द अब्यूज ऑफ इलीगल सब्सटेंसेस द नाकोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो नेशनल हेडक्वार्टर्स इज लोकेटेड इन डेली The national policy on narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances is based on the directive principles contained in Article 47 of Indian Constitution, which direct the state to endeavor to bring about prohibition of the consumption, except for medicinal purposes, of intoxicating drugs injurious to health. The government's policy on the subject, which flows from this constitutional provision, is also guided by the international conventions on the subject. India is a signatory to single convention on narcotic drugs, which was amended by 1972 protocol to the conventions on psychotropic substances 1971, and also United Nations Convention Against Illicit Traffic in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances 
1988. The broad legislative policy of NCB is contained in three central acts. Drugs and Cosmetics Act of 1940, the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985, and the Prevention of Illicit Traffic in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1988. The Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985, which came into effect on 14th of November 1985, made an express provision for constituting a central authority to exercise the powers and functions of the central government under the Act. In the presence of this provision, the Government of India constituted the Narcotics Control Bureau on 17th of March 1986. The Narcotics Control Bureau is the apex coordinating agency as well. It also has functions as an enforcement agency through its zones and subzones. In seven regions, NCB has 30 zones. We must not forget that our enemies who are jealous of India's progress, jealous of the fact that it is probably going to become the fourth largest or the third largest economy in the times to come. They would like to affect the country negatively and drugs is a means of proxy war. So all in all, I would say, say and repeat again that it is a national security challenge, it's an economic security challenge and it's a social security challenge because it is affecting our social life, our family life, our, the, the fabric of society. So that's why we must take it very seriously and we must tackle it very seriously. And I'm, I have no hesitation in saying that the government of today is very, very sanguine about it, very serious about it, and very focused on this. And that is why NCB is also very focused on this fight. India's 15,000 kilometer land border and 7,516 kilometer coastline makes it vulnerable to narcotic smuggling. Traditionally, India has been seen as sandwiched between the Golden Precinct and the Golden Triangle. The Golden Precinct comprises of Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan. Parts of Pakistan adjoining Afghanistan are also used by Pakistani drug traffickers to convert Afghan opium to heroin and then sent to India. Threats from Golden Triangle consists of Vietnam, Thailand, Laos and Myanmar. For drug dealers, this may be a Golden Triangle or Golden Precinct. But for us and for our youth, this is Death Triangle and Death Precinct. According to the latest annual report by the Narcotics Control Bureau, drug trafficking through sea routes in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal estimated to account for around 70% of the total illegal drugs smuggled into India. Countries which want to spread terrorism in India use it and the presence of this dirty money in the country also adversely affects the country's economy. The General Assembly of Interpol was held in India recently and there was a request from India that terrorism should be linked to narcotics, terrorism and narco trade. It was also suggested that Interpol should create a platform for all countries for real-time information sharing on these critical topics which can also lead to the exchange of best practices. Recently, No Money for Terror Conference was also organized in India where a lot of thrust was given on international cooperation for the fight against narcotics. The government has also constituted a joint coordination committee and several meetings have been held at the central level. Apart from this, 425 posts have been created by reorganizing the cadre of NCV. The National Integrated Database on Narco Offenders has been prepared and the chalans and judgments of each case are uploaded on it. Along with this, the government is also sharing the seizure information management system and jail data for the inter-operational criminal justice system. The drug network and the routes through which drugs enter into the states have been mapped in 372 districts and shared with the states. This mapping has been done after compilation of surveys, information and cases made after seizure and inquiry reports. Earlier it was called with some euphemism called as Golden Crescent on the Afghanistan-Iran side 
and golden triangle on the northeast border side. We have consciously decided to do away with such euphemisms because there is nothing golden about these areas. They deal in death and destruction, destruction of society as I said. So they must be called death triangle and death crescent and that is the policy decision we have taken uh, at the level of the government of India and NCB and we say it as such in even the international fora. Drug traffickers have been increasingly taking the help of innovations in technology to challenge drug law enforcement agencies across the world. Some of these challenges are the use of darknet to sell drugs, use of drones to transport drugs from across the borders. NCB is working in tandem with other affected nations in the increasingly high-tech fight against drugs. Darknet markets are difficult to trace because of their anonymity and low risks. They have taken over the traditional drug markets. Studies reveal that 62% of darknet is being used for illicit drug trafficking. The traffickers have adopted to new age technologies such as supplying drug through drones, which have posed new challenges for our security. The government has devised a three-point strategy, strengthening of institutional structure, coordination among all narco agencies and comprehensive public awareness campaign. In a major crackdown on the narcotics trade, the NCB busted two international drug cartels operating through the dark net and arrested 22 individuals with a huge cache of 29,103 blots of deadly LSD in the last three months. One of the cartels was operating by a popular name of the Zambada cartel. This cartel used to contact through social media sites and mode of delivery was primarily couriers on fake addresses, mobile numbers. Payments were received and made only through cryptocurrencies and their conversion thereof and no verbal communications were made among the vendors or vendors and buyers. Few persons were also arrested for selling drugs through e-commerce platforms by listing fake products on the website. We are at one of the offices of the Narcotics Control Bureau. An execution of a field operation is a very integral part of the NCB. So how is such an operation undertaken? Let's find out. Team moving out of the office is well equipped. Searches are carried out with the help of canines. In the search come seizure process, the officials start testing the trucks with the drug detection kit. Thereafter, drug is seized and accused persons are arrested. Let's also try and understand the detection technique used by the NCB. Sir, do you want to understand what technique you use? How do you know what substance is? When we go to the ground, we have a detection kit. So, 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 we have a detection kit. ये टेक्स्ट डिडक्शन किट का एक इंस्ट्रक्शन दे इंस्ट्रक्शन दे रखी हैं इन इंस्ट्रक्शन के आधार पर फॉलो करते हुए उस ड्रग्स को डिडक्ट कर सकते हैं जैसे अब हमें कोई सब्सटेंस मिला है तो हमें उसका टेस्ट करना है हमें लग रहा है कि ओपीएम है तो हम ओपीएम के टेस्ट कर सकते हैं हमें लग रहा है कि वो एम्फेटामाइन है तो उसके टेस्ट कर सकते हैं उसके बाद में इसमें कोकीन मेथा एम्फेटामाइन हीरोइन मोरफिन कोडीन सभी के टेस्ट इसमें दिए हुए हैं मेरे जो ना हसीस उसके एक टाइम वो दिया हुआ है कि किस आधार पर किस किस रेजिडेंट को डालने पर क्या क्या उसमें से आउटपुट निकलता है यदि वो उनमें से किसी भी कलर से मैच होता है जैसा मैंने ओपीएम का टेस्ट किया तो ये मैच करेगा और अगर हम कोकीन मोरफिन कोडीन का करते हैं तो उनके सबके लिए अलग अलग रेंज दी हुई हैं तो जिस भी कलर से वो मैच करेगा तो वो सब्सटांस सस्पेक्टेड टू भी 
जैसे मान लो हमने टेस्ट किया कोकीन के लिए तो सर, अगर ये कलर आता है लाइट ग्रीन तो माना जाएगा कि वो कोकीन है तो ये इसी आधार पर हम इसको टेस्ट करते हैं अनलेस ड्रग्स आर डिस्ट्रॉयड थ्रू प्रॉपर प्रोसेस देर विल बी चांसेस ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ ड्रग्स ड्यू टू करप्शन डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सीज ड्रग्स इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस Section 52A of the Narcotics Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act of 1985 allows probe agencies to destroy seized substances after collecting required samples. Officials concerned must make a detailed inventory of the substances to be destroyed. The NCB first obtains permission from a local court to dispose of the seized narcotic substances. These substances are taken to the designated place of destruction. under a strict vigil the presiding officer tallies the inventory made at the storeroom and that with the material brought to the spot the entire process is videographed and photographed then one by one all the packets the gunny bags of the substances are put in the incinerator as per the rules committee members cannot leave the place until the seized drugs have been completely destroyed Honorable Union Home Minister of India has stressed a lot on the disposal of the seized goods by NCB and other drug law enforcement agencies. In a active persuasion of the directions of the Home Minister, NCB has started a special campaign uh, of disposal of seized goods. On the occasion of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav in June 2022. NCB along with uh, state and other central agencies have launched a special campaign of disposal and as a result of which from June 2022 to July 23 we have crossed the 1 million kg mark uh, that is uh, uh, more than 10 lakh kgs of drugs have been destroyed and they value around 12000 crores the multiplicity of stakeholders in drug law enforcement has mandated coordination between various agencies on real time basis the ministry of home affairs has constituted a four tier coordination mechanism for increasing coordination amongst the nationwide stakeholders from grassroots level to apex level and effectively combating the menace of drugs the apex and court the executive and court the state and court and the district and court are four pillars of mechanism In addition to this four-tier structure, monthly and court meetings are chaired by the Director General of NCB. This mechanism aims to bring all agencies on supply, demand, and harm reduction side under one umbrella. NCB, being the national nodal agency in the field of drug law enforcement, also took an initiative to develop an court portal. This platform is a gateway for all drugs related and NCB related information and acts as a total knowledge management system for all four tiers of stakeholders starting from district level to state level and also including the ministries under the government control. Manas, a national narcotic helpline in collaboration with Digital India Corporation has been envisioned by NCB as a suitable means of interface with the public. towards sharing of inputs and information on drug related issues it serves as an information collection and dispatch point to relevant enforcement agencies ncb has established national narcotics canine pool as a national asset with the canines and dog handlers provided by bsf ssb and assam rifles presently Canine squads on the 10 locations of NCB have become functional in compliance with the further directions issued by the Home Minister on establishment of National Narcotics Canine Pool NCB is working for the establishment of the National Narcotics Canine Authority which can be utilized by all central and state drug law enforcement agencies <laughs> For the first time in history, the tableau of NCB with the theme "Resolve at 75, Drug-Free India" was showcased in the Republic Day Parade in 2023. Illicit drug trafficking is a major transnational organized crime with the potential to undermine national security. The growing nexus between drug smugglers and terrorist groups is a serious concern. 
such complex security concerns can only be dealt with holistic and cooperative relations with all other nations who are also facing such serious concerns. The Narcotics Control Bureau of India shares cordial and friendly relations with international drug law enforcement agencies worldwide on drug supply reduction. It has signed 17 memorandum of understanding, 28 bilateral agreements and 49 extradition treaties. The misuse and abuse of prohibited and prescription drugs amongst youth is a major health problem, also identified internationally. The National Survey of Drug Dependence published in 2019 explains the gravity of the situation. Narcotics Control Bureau shares responsibility of drug demand reduction and endeavours to aware the youth on harmful effects of drug abuse. Given these challenges, India has adopted a comprehensive approach for reducing supply as well as demand for narcotics and drugs. The approach comprises four elements, that is, enacting legislation such as the narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances, ensuring physical security of the borders and coasts by strengthening patrolling and surveillance, eliciting cooperation from neighbours by entering into several bilateral and multilateral agreements on prevention of illicit traffic of drugs and chemicals and cooperating with voluntary organizations in the endeavor to prevent abuse of narcotics and synthetic drugs. Exploitation of the drug trafficking route is a very important component of our national security and the Narcotics Control Bureau plays an imperative role in meeting this security challenge for our country. Team India effort that is going to bear fruit. Unless we fight as a team, whether in the state government or the central government, we cannot win this war. And we have to win this war because it will, otherwise it will cost the country and it will, if we lose it, it will be at our own peril. So the fight is very much on and NCB wants to be the central, focal, premier point of coordination. Facilitation also, facilitating the state governments to become better at drug law enforcement facilitating other agencies to become better and more sharp at drug law enforcement so that we are able to take the fight to the enemy's camp and beyond. Well viewers, that's all I could pack for you in this edition with the hopes of a drug-free society. With camera persons Sudhanshu and Saroj and camera assistant RP and Kriti Mishra signing off for Sunset Television.